archetypal ritual theater is a transmission of consciousness. We are exploring the deepest issues of our times using the modality of the arts that's outside the conscious rational mind. Climate change is world change. That world change can be a journey that we have to take as individuals and collectively. All of us in the ensemble are working together to create a vibration, a frequency, an experience. So we often start rehearsals with prayer, meditation, affirmation, tuning in to create a resonance with each other. My approach to movement is not literal. I think we need to be moved on a different level that is maybe not gestures or movements that we recognize, um, but that has some connection to something familiar. Dana comes from a visual art background, and the visuals really were an uh, integral part of carrying the show. The movement was just activating this moving canvas. Only one life flowing. We bit off a million times more than we could chew, probably, and there was a level of trust that things would get swallowed and digested, and they did. Guys, this is the magic day, and it wouldn't actually be happening without every single person here. Every single person here is what's making this event. So let's just have some fun and really feel the flow of divine grace that is flowing already through hearts and minds here. If we do that, it's a 100% success, no matter what else happens. Okay, folks, places. A dire Ancient Future opens by us staging a fake evacuation, which is entirely based on the audience participation. Can you show me your passport or ID card? Sorry, can I have your passport? England, okay, England that way. It was allowing each and every audience member to feel impacted by what it might actually be like in an emergency situation. Uh, my girlfriend is outside, can I, can no, I go get her? No, no, no. Universal Hall becomes a place of refuge and take the audience on this journey from the despair, from the grief, and into a trust in the future and trust in answers that can come from a higher place. The story begins with the world falling apart. That's the beginning of the story. And so we move through the crisis to the place where we discover and plant the seeds of the new civilization. Where we're going, nobody knows. The kind of hope that we need in these times is a hope that comes from the inside out. Each member of the ensemble has to go through their own transformative process for themselves. We are the same people deeper than before. There's a meltdown moment in the process. What you thought you were and what you thought you were doing dissolves. And then something that no one could have brought forth on their own comes forth. And then that is shared with the audience. I feel like the play has happened personally to me. There's been chaos, there's been devastation, there's been loss, and then there's just been like, whoa, wait, who am I in reality? I'm not in this small personality. There's this huge reality that is light and endless, and it's always there. It has been an intense transformational journey, that's for sure. It's beyond the performance. What the group is experiencing is, is um, yeah, it's a soul experience. I didn't meet maybe more than half the cast until five days before the performance. And to learn something just a couple days before you perform it, I think they really rose to that occasion. It's been amazing. I've loved working with different people from different backgrounds and creating an amazing show together. First hearing about this with Dana well over a year ago and like and then to actually see some of these visions like manifesting in reality is pretty incredible. This is the sound of one voice, one spirit, one voice, the sound of one who makes a choice.
let's just time travel ahead to the moment at the end of the production and feel that joy that has been generated. This is the sound of one voice. This is the sound of one voice. One people, one